Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Morgan from My Little Homeschool in the Woods. Today I'm going to be bringing you along so you can see what a morning basket looks like for us. So stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, I need to take out some stuff. So we did finish up our history. Um, from gather around our first unit so I need to take that out of there because um, we do not need that in there um, and this we did finish up our read aloud that we were doing so I need to figure out what we're going to do next I don't have anything um, lined up so that needs to come out and we've got everything else in here I did add a few things like our I added these because these were given to me. I thought that would be a good addition. So time and money flashcards for the kids. But yeah, so I need to figure out read aloud. And I don't have our next history unit um, printed. So what is this? That doesn't need to be in there. So anyway, yeah, I need to get that figured out and when the kids get done with the chores, the girls are milking, um, the boys are taking care of the chickens. And so when they get that done, we will try to all get together and sit down and start our morning time. Sorry, next one we're going to do five minute devotions for children celebrating God's world as a family. Hey, don't do that. Okay, where were we at? Remember? We already did that one. Here, let go so I can come through. Ha. Ah. We are on. Claire, can you be quiet, please? Playful sea otters. Okay, hang on. 
Playful sea otters. The sea otter spends almost all of its life in the water. Otters love to dive and splash and swim from morning to night. The otter's favorite foods are abalone and sea urchins. These both have hard shells, but the clever little otter, otter has figured out a way to crack them open. The otter finds a stone or a smooth rock, tucks it under its front leg, scoops up an abalone or urchin, and then back floats on the surface of the water with the stone resting on its belly. What about the sea urchin? See the pictures? Mama, look at the back. Okay, grabbing the shellfish, the otter smacks it against the stone until it cracks. Then he eats the juicy meat inside the shell. Here, be still. No, no, no. After all this hard work, the otter is tired. He makes his bed in the water, too. The otter rolls up in a long piece of seaweed, then falls asleep, cozy in the kelp blanket, while the soft waves, waves rock him to sleep. Just like sea otters, children love to play all day. After running and jumping and climbing, they get tired, too. Did you get tired yesterday from playing at Aunt Lainey's all day? Mm -hmm. Running and jumping. Mm -hmm. Chloe's sore. At least I slept better last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God knows that all animals and people need to rest. He wants us to get sleep so we can be healthy and happy. When we sleep... Okay, so for Read Aloud, we decided we would pull the Oregon Trail books off the shelf again. These are like the interactive books where you get, you get, to, you get to choose um, which way to go or what happens. So it's really fun. We've read these before, but... I don't know, it's been a while, so we're gonna go ahead and choose something else. It says you huh? can choose, we can choose something else now. Well, it these are really you, short. It says you can read it and read it again until you get different endings and all that. Yeah, so you can pick different uh, endings and stuff. All right, so which one were we gonna do? Which second, number? The second one. You wanna, okay, which one's the second one? This one? Okay, so we're gonna do the danger, danger at the haunted gate. It does look scary. It looks like a skull. Uh, and the third one looks scary. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just start on this. We're going to set. Right, now pay attention, because we'll have to decide what we're going to do. Okay. Go west, live the adventure. You are a young pioneer headed by wagon train to Oregon Territory in the year 1850. You've already traveled almost 600 miles from Independence, Missouri to Tony Rock in what is now Nebraska. You and your family are on the second leg of your journey across the wild frontier, and you're aiming to reach Devil's Gate, mysterious cliffs in what later becomes Wyoming. You hear the familiar blare of the morning bugle, which stirs you from a deep slumber. How can it be time to wake already, Samuel moans loudly. I feel like I just went to sleep, as Hannah. Hannah and Samuel. You tug a feather from your sleeping mat and tickle Hannah's nose. Your little sister sneezes as your brother giggles and rolls away. Samuel hurries out of the tent to avoid being tickled, too. Your whole family is awake now, though it's barely light outside. You all know the routine. You'll help Ma build a fire to cook breakfast, while Paul takes down the tent and repacks your cover. Samuel will milk the cow, and Hannah will help fill the heavy iron kettle with water for coffee. My who votes for going through Scott's Bluff? Not me. Okay. Went, you want to go around or through? Would it take a day? Around, around, around. What about you? Everybody says around. So we got to go to page 118. time for Prudence and the Millers. Chloe's going to read it to us. Owen, come back. Mama, what, what if I can't? What's it called? Hmm? It's 
It's called the zoo in the kitchen. The zoo in the kitchen? Alright, go ahead. Now butter, listen. Butter, please, Peter requested, holding a slice of bread in one hand and his knife in the other. And he glanced around the table. And the Miller family had just finished thanking God for their food. And the silence during the prayer had given them, given away a cheerful um, chatter. Mmm, lettuce, just like a rabbit, Laura exclaimed as Dad helped their two salad. Um, and chimney chim, uh, and Timmy chimed in. Frank brought a, a, a rabbit to school today, Mama, in a little cage, and we fed it. Just as Peter was saying, where's the butter? But nobody heard him. Suddenly, the cheerful noise wasn't cheerful anymore. Ugh, Dad, Laura, well, you gave me too many green beans. Mama only gives me a few because I don't like them. Peter, Sharon exclaimed loudly as at the same moment. Quit hogging the salad dressing. I want some too. Mom, look how much he took. Peter was too busy talking talking himself to, uh, himself to pay any attention. Why does someone please pass the butter for the third time? He cried impatiently, drumming his knife on the edge of the table. Is everybody deaf? The baby on Mama's lap began to scream, and Timmy raised his voice to be heard above the others. And Mama, do you know what that rabbit did when he, when we let out of his box, he hollered? Dad put his hands over his ears, and Mama pushed back her chair and stood up. Stop, children! Her voice cut like a sharp knife through a hub, hubbub. All right, explode the code time. Everybody get your book. Yeah, you can. Here's Abrams. This is Claire. You have to go find it. Look on Daddy's cabinet. Can you give it to me, Mama? How much more do you have in your book? Uh, I think I like three more there lessons. There. Oh, you're almost to the end? Oh, you got... Yeah, but there's a bunch of pages in one lesson. Okay, well, I want at least two pages done, okay? All right, Claire. Mama, Here, we gotta shut the stove book. down. Mama. Get hot. I'm gonna show you the flip book. Huh? The flip book I made. You need a flip book? Yeah. Well, let me see it. I do, I do, He's a plant. There's a ball falling. He's a person. Same thing. Okay, you gotta flip it for me. So I can see it. Mm -hmm. Gotta see. Gotta see. Gotta see. Gotta see. Gotta see. Gotta see. Alright, start over again so I can see it. They running away. No, we saying bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Alright, what about the other one? And they get into a fight when um, the people come up. Okay, how about this one? It's a plant. That, that one, that one's already growing. That one's just a plant. Okay. Oh, pretty good. Cool. Mm. Hmm. Alright, so in your Explode the Code book, where are you? Are you getting close to the end too? Let's see where you at. Okay. Here. Now you gotta do this page and this page. Did you see a ball? Yeah, I did. Here. Is your book? Yeah. Oops. Alright, so see our picture here? You have to find the letter um, that begins with that. So what is this? A hand? So which one is the... Okay, and then you look at that one. Just a minute, Chloe. Be patient, remember? Here, make it nice and neat. What is that? Okay. Yeah, good job. Now what about that one? It's a zoo. What letter does it start with? Zoo. Good.
So that is it for today's video. Um, the kids are finishing up their multiplication, musical multiplication, and then we'll take a break and then do the rest of our school. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.